and more from this hot Tululi much later on in the video. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Uh -uh. Yeah, the great Glenn Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. I'm exuding my white privilege. Uh, Okay, but you know who else is exuding and gratifying their white privilege? Shauna Jones! Who? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm about to tell you, after this incredulous email I received in my Yahoo account for Star Wars Outlaws. Probably the worst title I've ever seen for a video game. Ubisoft contacted me and said, coming in august the 30th wow i could be coming somewhere else miss eve guillermo chairwoman of ubisoft itself but the story trailer is there play up to three days early with ultimate or gold editions in other words let's get more money off you now and then we will release a grade b maybe slash c video game in august because i'm not excited for this game in fact the lead protagonist who the lead actress, they changed her dramatically from this to this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. So you're probably thinking, right, Jace, why are you talking about a pre-order for a Star Wars game you're not interested in? Well, as one of my favorite subscribers pointed out to me in a private DM on Discord, this community manager who calls herself Shauna Jones dared to say this. Star Wars Outlaws com manager Jones appears to have animus against white men in numerous social media posts. Because remember folks, if you're a white person, you can't be racist against another white person. You have to be someone like me to be racist against white people. That's the, that's the moral story, folks. That is the moral compass we all have to stand on. <laughs> Don't move! Uh, sir, maybe you didn't know, but we have white privilege. Get your hands where I can see them! I think the problem is you're just uneducated. I wear sunglasses at night So I can, so I can Track the visions in my mind There's someone behind me, at isn't the there? End of the day, oh, I'm fuck. still hot, though! <laughs> <laughs> Her voice may be almost as important to gamers as Lara's double pistols, curves, and skimpy shorts. Kung Fu Hot Dog is a Kung Fu renegade cop. Now, he must defeat the most evil Kung Fu master in the world. From modern gaming audience. Get ready for a new world of unspeakable adventures. This is mummy. I like the way the lady runs. Get ready for a new world of unspeakable adventures, never before shown in a motion picture. Get ready for Kung Fu Hot Dog. No retreat, no surrender. As noted on her LinkedIn profile, Jones is based out of Newcastle, YA man. Fantastic place, by the way. I do love the Toon Army and I love the locals down there. They are absolutely wondrous people and has worked at Ubisoft as a comms representative and manager for four years. Her profile notes she's worked on Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, which I heard was a very average game, Just Dance, Riders Republic, Skull and Bones, Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Immortals Phoenix Rising. The Just Dance part, we'll get back to that in a minute as well. She previously worked as Quality Control at Ubisoft Reflections for two years on The Division 2. So she lists all the credentials there, so she certainly earned her way, it seems, um, as shared via screenshots to X by user Kooks12. Jones posted back in January 2020, if you're a white dude complaining that diversity being raised is an issue, then people are going to keep raising the lack of diversity until we see change. That shit's got to change, man. Has Shauna Jones ever dated a black man or a brown man for that matter? I wonder. 
In another post in September 2020, so moving on nine months, she wrote, Love that if you say you're trying to be more body positive, white men assume that you're fat and tell you to go to the gym. Bollocks. I'm a size 12. Being body positive has nothing to do with weight. A size 12 actually is quite curvaceous for a woman her height, I'm assuming, you know, everything's in the right place. So, but again, if you do think about body positivity, of course, you're going to think of Lizzo or maybe Jabba the Hutt. But if you combine those two people together, it's basically the same person, just like Latoya and Michael Jackson. So what on earth, Miss Jones, are you talking about? Oh, Miss Jones. In July 2020, she also said, please don't tell me gender isn't an issue. <laughs> we'll get to that part as well. In the games industry, when you are a white male, wowzy wowzy, diversity in general is an issue in the industry, is it really? I guess as a white male who's not always represented, it's easier to not know or see the misrepresentation in studios. So in other words, if you've got a group of white men who are designing a video game and it happens to be very sexy female characters, they're going to have a great time doing what they want to, but oh my god, bring some diverse women in or maybe women who are also white you know the whole landscape changes and again what is shauna jones is she off her rocker the answer is yes she is boys and girls because maybe she hasn't been allowed to be that creative or had that influence again you know it's problematic to have a sexy female design these days in a video game because it's 2024 but uh, yeah, she is absolutely crazy, this woman. And in fact, good for Kooks12 for capturing these screenshots back in the day. And you can see what an absolute buffoon Miss Jones actually is. And in the wise words of the great man himself, Jimmy Nail of Alvidijain Pet. Spender and Crocodile Shoes. Fame. But even more strange was this everyone can changing lives through the power of gaming. Now, it's a worthwhile charity. I've seen the screenshots below, which you'll see in a moment too. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 800 triple zero nine. Well, that's easy to remember. Oh, one, one, eight, nine, 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 eight, eight, one, nine, nine, <laughs> nine, one, one, nine, seven, two, five. Three. <laughs> but Shauna Jones, the ambassador for Everyone Can. What's weird about this, there's no date to say when this was actually created. I can't find a date, maybe I'm just dumb and I don't see anything, but uh, Shauna Jones inquired about becoming an ambassador after seeing footage of our adult gamers enjoying a boogie on Just Dance on Twitter. So obviously she wants to get that slice of dancing pie heaven to go in there and do her thing. As the then community manager for Just Dance, she was enthused to see disabled gamers getting involved and quickly got in touch with us to show some love. When you say show some love, do you mean this kind of love right here, where the uh, gif of the guy massaging his stomach over Shauna's now protected tweets? Because yes, she, her, INFJ, I have no idea what that stands for. Her posts are now protected. What a shocker. But an interesting Google search for Miss Jones shows some rather interesting cleavage shots. So no wonder people were simping for her on her Twitter posts back then. I mean, that's her with glasses, but yeah, she's got that kind of strange Reese with a spoon, pointy chin at the bottom, but it's very identical to this one right here. The eyes match, the same mascara kind of goes in the same direction. Uh, the same type of hairstyle with a prominent forehead. She like, oh, there we go. Wow, that's a, that's an interesting shot right there. She's exuding confidence. I mean, for a woman like her, who looks like this, why is she bashing men? Why is it specifically white men? 
Has she had bad experiences with them? Who knows? Shauna, if you see this video, reach out to me. I said, brown man, maybe you might converse. Who knows again? But it's quite shocking that someone like her will come out and say, the problem with video gaming these days is white men because they know diddly squat about anything other than themselves. Now, could this be the problem that Shauna Jones has with white men? Because look at the everyone can ambassadors, Mr. Beard, Charlie, that they all say, oh, uh, uh, Emir Owen, who is a, a big Harry Potter fan. Does she have a problem with JK Rowling, I wonder? But yeah, a sea of diversity, but in the eyes of Shauna, probably not the sea of diversity she wants or she's striving for protecting. And again, if you think about the Cabrutus Steam page at the moment, I'll post a screenshot about what that looks like in terms of the gathering followers. And I'm pretty sure they're gathering hard and fast. <laughs> why people like Chris Kindred, the she, he, it, them, blimp of humanity wanted to get Cabrutus Rambo cancelled because they know the more people that follow, the more that sweet baby stink will be losing money and will probably become non-existent by the end of 2024. That's what they're afraid of. They don't actually care about the art of video gaming, what goes into it. All they care about is injecting their sick, diseased narrative into future video gaming so you can't enjoy it. As somebody pointed out to me, and I need to look into this a bit more, uh, the word bridge is now a term that I think is being pushed out by video game companies like PlayStation for future titles. It sounds really ominous. That's all I've got to say. It sounds like it's got the backing of certain governments. I can't say the British government has yet got involved. I mean, if that is the case, it's sorely disappointing. In fact, what I found very funny as well, Shauna Jones also called out Ninja of all people because it's all about his white privilege. It's not about the fact he should have sat there on his platform and tell people what it is to be in his position, how you can be a better boy or a girl and bring diversity into the conversation. Ninja earned his place to be the top kick streamer back then. And you know, he's the very cool white guy with a crazy anime colored hairstyles. He's married to a very, I suppose, beautiful woman. And he's got it all, no kids, just lots and lots of money that he swims in day in, day out. But it seems that Shauna Jones has a problem with Ninja and no problem with gaslighting straight white men. What about the gay white men? Are they better? I mean, you, can, you can't stop them from becoming a bit toxic, can you, Shauna Jones? But I'll guess we'll never know the absolute truth. And you know, listening to female community managers rabbiting on about their privilege reminded me of this Inside Edition story from a few years ago, seven years ago, actually. Um, you might have forgotten about it, but I thought I should bring it back up again because it's quite relevant. Okay, if you don't feel safe, get off the airplane. But this is your captain speaking, okay. but never like this. this. I'll stop, and I will fly the airplane. Don't worry, I'm going to let my co-pilot fly it. He's a man. Okay? It's a total meltdown. The pilot okay, boarded in her street clothes and addressed the passengers over okay. the intercom. Passenger Pam O'Neill couldn't believe what was happening. She said, let's take a vote. How many of you would like to take off now with me dressed as I am, or would you prefer that I take 10 minutes to get changed into my cute little uniform? Well, I tell you what, Miss O'Neill, I think you look far more fetching in that cute little uniform than the insufferable woman who is berating passengers in a meltdown because she was going through a divorce, I remember, from her ex-husband. Now, can you imagine if her ex-husband to be or will be was the actual main pilot of that plane and they were arguing and bickering when that plane takes off? And yes, while the passengers found her meltdown slightly amusing, wouldn't you be worried if you was sat there thinking, wait a minute, I've got a crazy female Karen who's about to take off with, what, 300 passengers and we're going to be flying to our final destination? I don't think so. Calm down now, get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't do you want another phone? 
Which is why, ladies and gentlemen, you don't hear about females flying high in the sky. Because maybe they're more prone to breakdowns than men are. And again, would you want some crazy Karen at the steering wheel of a massive 747 Airbus? I wouldn't. Would you? <laughs> And on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you leave a like below, smash that like button, and maybe the subscribe button. And by the way, folks, I do have an Amazon wish list linked to my channel. And if you are inclined to maybe buy me something that I've wish listed for, do get in touch. And if you only if you feel like you want to, because right now I just have to live very thriftfully and very carefully because of the sudden change of circumstances in my life. And also, what do you think about me starting a Patreon? I thought about it, but I don't really know what kind of tears to introduce. When I say tears, I don't mean tears of joy, because yes, it's not all about that. I actually do care about what you think. And uh, if you have any ideas, DM me or post comments below in block letters so I can be drawn to them like flies to a monkey or a monkey doing a shit. And then I'll decide what to do. But I've often said that if I, when I hit the 5,000 plus mark, I would consider starting a Patreon. I know other YouTubers out there who are bigger than me don't need to do that because like me, they too won't have a clue what to do when it starts Patreoning. So on that one, folks, if you were me and if I were you for the second time, you can catch me on the next video, why I man. Then watch Jason Dumbass King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Rolling down to Dallas, my wounds provide my palace. And off to New Orleans, or who knows where. Places new and latest too. I'm BJ McKay, and this is my best friend.